Park benches, bus stops, streets and sidewalks. These are just a few of the places people who live in the Delview neighborhood say are being taken over by homeless people. It's a problem we most recently reported on last week. Today, David Clark shows us a joint effort taken on by community leaders to help heal the problem. They got drunk or they've consumed whatever drugs they have and then they just crash out wherever they are. Gary Luft was born and raised in the Delview community, but he says the neighborhood is nothing like it used to be because of a growing homeless population. Bus benches, some of them are by the dumpsters, some of them were hidden behind buildings. Today, community members with the Delview Citizens on Patrol teamed up with the Bear County Sheriff's Office to do something about the issue. Uh, the Mobile Command Center brought uh, um, Mental health units, uh, they brought undercover agents, uh, patrol aid, regular patrol agents. Today's event wasn't only about getting homeless people off the street, but more so connecting them with resources, information on how they can get help so that they don't end up back there. We had a, a, a representative here from Haven for Hope. Uh, she was here this morning as well. While some were directed to shelters, others living on the streets found to have active warrants were taken to jail. It's the first of what residents hope will become a monthly sweep. They say they know the problem won't go away overnight, but feel every effort helps. So uh, we're always going to have vagrants in our neighborhood. Uh, they're always come back. They come out, out of state, out of the county. Uh, so what we're trying to do together with the sheriff's department is make this a reoccurring uh, activity. In Delview, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.